My life has been, as a musician, has been uh, influenced by mentors. I've always had mentors, and when I got to Ottawa, you, this, uh, this trumpet player uh, from Poland uh, was sort of helped me, helped me along, got to sit with him in the orchestra. There were so few, few players that there was, wasn't a lot of competition, so I got to, in the orchestra uh, first year, which is, you wouldn't see that nowadays, you know. Uh, so I learned a lot from uh, from playing with this guy, and then later on there were other other people that were uh, mentors. Uh, so I learned probably more from from my mentors uh, by osmosis, by sitting next to them and, and 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 learning from them than than probably all the university stuff. When you play the trumpet, you're 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 more of a reader. You know, as opposed to if you play, you're a fiddler or, or an accordion player, you know, you, you learn tunes uh, 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 from listening to them, but my uh, start was more from reading. There's only so much information you can put on the page. The rest of it comes from, from your interpretation and, and whatever your background is. If you play a brass instrument, it's, depending on, on the style of the music, if, if it's like classical music, it'll be pretty much what's on the page. But if it's sort of more of a, um, what I call sort of commercial playing, where, where you're asked to play whatever, like it could be funk tune, it could be like a, a, more of a jazzy tune, then you can put a bit of yourself in it. And if you're by yourself, then you can pretty much play it the way you feel it. But if there's other players, like maybe there's another trumpet player, maybe there's a trombone player, maybe there's an alto sax, tenor sax, baritone sax, uh, then you have to sort of come together. And that's one part of playing music that I really enjoy is that teamwork. Uh, and uh, you sort of have to play follow the leader. The lead trumpet is, is, is usually the person that sets uh, the time, sets the phrasing. And uh, it's funny, last night I had a rehearsal at, at Ottawa U, and the, the conductor is, is, is a, a trumpet player. And he was explaining to, to the orchestra, to, to the, it's a concert band, uh, the role of the lead trumpet player, and he says he compared it to a hockey team, and he says the lead trumpet is the enforcer. Like a, I've been playing trumpet for a long time, I've never heard that before. But it, it really, that's what it comes down to. You follow me, and it's going to work. If you don't follow, you know, <laughs> it's not going to work. Well, I enjoy variety, so um, before Christmas I was playing, uh, I think, in diff five different groups a week, and these are like rehearsal bands, uh, mostly. Uh, we play t for the pleasure of playing together. So there's, a, being a trumpet player, there's a lot of big band uh, situations that I like to play. The groups that I play in, it's, it's all natural. Everybody's in the room at the same time. Uh, and we feed off of each other, you know. It's, it's uh, musical and it's social, because we have to get along to play together. It's very physical and it's all the muscles in the face. Like if you touched here, you would see like, it's like a bicep, but it's here. These corners, I don't work out, uh, I don't do weights, but I do it on the trumpet. This is basically a standard trumpet. It's basically the workhorse, that's where most of the, the work is done. The trumpet also has, uh, you heard the, the harmon, there's a cup mute, there's a straight mute, and it changes the color, uh, makes it sound a little bit uh, more distant. Most trumpet players will double on the flugelhorn. So this is a, a flugelhorn. It's got a, a, a richer, darker sound. Uh, it's used a lot in ballads and jazz.
as I get older, I'm, I'm memorizing tunes more, which is, makes a huge difference when you're playing a tune uh, from memory than, than reading it. Normally, when, when I play in big bands, we don't play the melody all the way through. You know, we have, uh, you know, accompaniment lines, we have shots, we have all sorts of stuff, and we don't carry the melody often. But when I'm practicing on my own, I play the melody. You know, I play the, the melody from, from, from beginning to end. It's a challenge to play the trumpet because it's not easy to find a place where, where you can practice. I used to work nights, so I got used to, 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 to being up at night and, and I couldn't practice in the apartment. So I'd, I'd uh, walk up to the, the post office in the lobby there and practice. I've practiced in the laundromat and I've practiced in underground parking lots. And then sometimes it's like, it's amazing. It's almost like, it's like it takes over on its own. And I'm almost like a, 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 an audience member, you know, just listening to it. It's therapeutic. But you have to work for it, like it doesn't come easy.